Hey guys, so on today's video we are going to continue the review for the new Reviving Origin series that Nespresso came out with. And so today we are reviving, <laughs> reviving, today we are reviewing the Reviving Origins Temuka Mu Zimbabwe. And then, so I have for both lines, this box is actually from a follower that sent me this one from the last time. It's still not expired, so we're gonna use this today. I didn't order it because I already had some and I noticed that it's the same exact thing. They bring them back, I think, every year. So I have the original series and then I have what they did for the Virtuo. And what I'm excited about is that this one is actually seems to be an espresso for, um, for Virtuo. So that's what we're gonna do on today's video and let's get started. So like always, just gonna describe the notes and everything about this pod from what Nespresso has on their website. All right, so Tamuka Musambiwe. I had to stop the video because I am completely butchering this name. It is Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe. And even then, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I said Sambibwe and that is completely not the case. It's Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe. Okay, let's continue. From the original line, this one is a level intensity five, which that's really nice because i tend to like five six seven sometimes eight you can brew this as an espresso or as a longo which is nice and the aromatic profile for this one is flowery and smooth whiny and berry that sounds delicious just really quickly how they roast this one it says that it's roasted using a split roast technique the first split is light and short to bring out the sweetness of the coffee and then the second is a dark and long roast which balances out the taste and aromas and gives the coffee its smoothness i like when it says smoothness because i feel like it's it tends to get rid of like that bitterness so i'm actually looking forward to this and then the profile it, it involves rich aromatic bouquets of red berries cranberries currants grapes that sounds delicious it's suggesting to try this one as a cappuccino and taste how milk gives the coffee a creamy, smooth texture and brings out the sweetness of caramel and coffee. We're gonna do a latte uh, and see how the milk gives the coffee a creamy, smooth texture with caramel notes. So we're gonna do that. Obviously, we're gonna do the whole spiel, black, whatever, all that stuff. So that is the original line. Let's get started with that one first and then we'll move on to the virtual line. Not really going to show you too much of this box because this is again from last, uh, the, the last release. But I'm assuming that the capsules are the same because this is how the Congo one looked like black speckled, and then this one has Zimbabwe in green letters. I'm just going to go ahead and get brewing. You definitely smell the fruitiness but i can't quite pinpoint if it's they say cranberries and all of that stuff but i can't really like pinpoint it like i did with the cumplida refinada that one you can smell the cherries and all that so let's taste this black i'm actually not too concerned about me hating it black because it's a level five yeah red berries cranberries currants and grapes it smells fruity, but I can't make out anything of what they just describe it as. Obviously, I'm not alarmed by this black uh, coffee. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's easy to drink like Solelio and El Vazio, all of those, but it is definitely less bitter than what we tasted with the last, with the Congo. That one was like a, a slap in the face. It is quite fruity. You could definitely taste something. I just cannot pinpoint what it is exactly, but it's fruity. It has like that nice zing, if that makes any sense. I wouldn't want to drink this black though. Like I just, this one is, it's not bitter, bitter, but it's not my favorite like flavor. That fruitiness is not, not vibing with me right now. If I'm going to ever be stuck drinking black coffee, I would prefer it to be like that uh, biscuity roasted cereal notes versus the fruity one. I think definitely the milk is going to do some wonders with this with this coffee. So let's add some milk. I'm using again the Planet Oat oat milk. This is the unsweetened version and I'm just going to throw it in 
to my frother. With this frother, um, since I'm only adding a little bit of milk to the coffee, I always use, it has like four settings, so I always use the less froth for this little bit of, of milk because I don't want the milk or the froth to overpower the, the coffee. So just a little bit of froth and sometimes I find myself turning it off even earlier than when it does it on its own because I feel like it, it, gives, a, it gives a good froth, but I don't want it too frothy in this case. All right, so we have our little bit of coffee here and then I'm just gonna add the milk, about that much. Get a spoon and mix it all in. And this is without syrup or any, any sweeteners. Yes, I can definitely see how the milk just gets rid of like that fruity zing and it's actually nice it's pretty good it's pretty good but I would still want this for some reason I still kind of want to try it with some syrup uh, I'm gonna just try the good old French vanilla with this one Just a tiny bit, just to kind of give it some, some sweetness. But without the syrup, it's definitely not like roasted cereal, biscuity, none of that. But the fruitiness, that zing that the fruit gives it, goes away. And it leaves like a nice coffee tasting pot. But I wouldn't say necessarily that it's... It's just like a smooth coffee taste, if that makes any sense. I don't even quite taste the caramel that they're talking about when you add the, the milk, but it, it's pretty good. This is amazing with French vanilla syrup. If you like easy to drink coffee with milk, nothing too fancy, I think this one you guys would enjoy a lot. I like it a lot. This is the type of pod that I'll say, like for example, for Ice Leggero, for even Bianco Leggero, Chiaro, all of those are types of pods that you can just pretty much mix with any syrup. This seems to be a similar situation where once you add the milk, there's really not a specific note or flavor that stands out. So you could pretty much just choose whatever syrup you want. It's pretty good. All right, let's open this one. And what I'm excited about the Vertulo line is that it's an actual espresso, which I'm assuming should taste the same. And let me look up the information, but just by the box, it's a level five, which is the same as the um, original line. So let me just bring out the Virtuo and see if there's anything different with this line. Obviously, the price is a little bit different. You're going to pay $12 versus I think it was $11 for the original line. And this one is a an espresso. Because you have Virtuo line, you really can't do anything but espresso where the original line you get the choice of doing a longo i mean you could always change the setting in your virtual machine to make it as a longo but you wouldn't necessarily want that with all your other pots so it's kind of like gimmicky um so yeah espresso 1.35 ounces and this one stays the same a flowery and smooth profile with an arom aromatic note of winey and berry and it has the same description um you know if the milk gives this coffee a creamy smooth texture brings out the sweetness of caramel and coffee so pretty much the same which is nice i wish they would have done that with like everything for example like the other review that i just made congo you either get espresso with the original line but if you have the virtual machine and that's it you don't get the espresso with that you only get the big coffee mug size so that's nice that at least with zimbabwe they they made it fairly the same Here's my cute little, <laughs> cute little bear cup holding our precious coffee. This one, for some reason, smells a lot different. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells different for sure. Maybe flowery, I would say. 
Like it smells green to me, not quite berry-ish or anything like that. It just smells like green. Let's try this. I don't know why I'm scared to try this one. It's, it should be the same. It tastes the same to me. It's weird that it smells different, but it tastes the same. Not bad. It's not one that I would enjoy drinking black, but it's not like a slap in the face like the other one. Besides the smell, you could definitely taste the fruitiness in this one. And it, even a touch of flowery, it's definitely not roasted cereal, biscuity, all those good stuff. Um, so yeah, let's see what the milk does to this one. I'm going to just pour whatever milk I have left from the previous. It still has a nice froth. And then mix it in. Oh, it definitely mellowed it out just with the spoon taste. Yeah, this for some reason, drinking it black, honestly, it's very, it's not my favorite to drink black because you know, obviously I don't like drinking black coffee, but there are some pods that are fairly easy to do, to get used to. This one, not so much, but once the milk mixes in with the coffee, it just creates a whole different taste. Again, there's not one note or flavor that stands out. It just becomes like a nice cup of coffee. Nice strength. It's a level five, but I feel like it's still... I would actually say it's like a more like a level six, if anything. It has a really nice strength to it. Like it doesn't lose that caffeine, caffeine taste when you add the milk, but it mellows out like that, like zing from the fruitiness. So definitely better with milk. And for this one, I'm going to just try creme de cacao just because since it has supposedly those cranberry, red berry notes, I think this is a syrup that would also mesh well with it. And let's just try it. Yeah, that one pairs really nice. It's not fighting the note. But if you have to ask me, I think I would prefer the French vanilla. The French vanilla just did something wonderful with that as a original line pad obviously it tastes the same to me i feel like it just smells different it acts the certain the same way with the milk um it tasted the same without milk so if you have both machines just choose whether you want your espresso or if you want to eventually try it as a lungo then just get the original because they honestly taste the same to me French vanilla is for sure the better syrup for this pod and it's actually really good and then original line is a little bit cheaper so they're there you go. If you have the bullet machines, just get the original line. Now that we've tried Zimbabwe and then the Congo one, I would definitely choose Congo original line over these. Um, that one's just a little bit better tasting in my opinion. Hopefully this review helps you guys out in deciding if you guys want to try Zimbabwe. And if you guys have any questions in regards to anything that I probably didn't touch based on, leave it in the comment section. I'll for sure be trying it again in my Instagram reels. If you haven't followed me there yet, go ahead and follow me there. And I'm always playing around with combos and the, you get everything coffee there, especially on my reels and stories. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.